What's good guys, if you guys want the most cheap and most reliable FIFA 23 coins, make sure you guys check out u7buy.com. Next time you guys want to buy your coins and make your team even better, go to the website and type the code DAN to get 6% off your next purchase. Also, if you ever want to sell your FIFA 23 coins, you can go to the same website under the Self Foot 23 coin section. Yo YouTube what's going on and welcome to another video to the channel y'all boys and today we're going to go ahead and review 95 rated team of the season Ether Militao shout out to the homie Yadel he got him as a red player pick from team of the season rewards fat W right there we're looking at a card at 6-1 medium high work rates right foot 2 star skill moves 3 star weak foot 91 pace 61 shooting 82 passing 85 dribbling 97 defending 93 physicality no defending traits in game now for the purpose of today's video we are going to be giving this card the anchor chemistry style hear me out anchor chemistry style acceleration goes up to 92 sprint speed 97 you max out the defending stats and you max out the strength and aggression one thing about Minotaur that's always kind of sus is his body type so that leads to him getting bodied right but when maxed out strength, maxed out aggression, it's going to compensate for that body type that he doesn't have like Van Dyke, Lucio, Rio Ferdinand, etc. Team of the Year Metal Top for me was amazing. Still a top 10 CB in the game. If I'm not mistaken, this Team of the Year Metal Top is slightly better stats wise. We'll have to compare at the end of the video. But Metal Top is going to be playing with this team right here. Pretty decent team. And in game he is going to be playing. And a 4 3 2 1 as a right center back, right next to that team of season, Araujo. Now, we got Van Dyke, we got Lucio, we got Ruben Diaz, we got Maldini, we got Varane. Does team of the season Militao crack top 5 CB and FIFA 23? You guys let me know in the comment section down below. Right now, we're gonna play some foot champs. Hopefully, he locks it up in the back. All right, here we go with game number one. Let's see what type of team our opponent has. Decent back line, decent midfield, and and whatever attack. It's just an average team at most. Nice interception. That was fire. Oh man, that turning from Militao. It's one thing I loved about this card, this team of the year. That the turning, absolutely responsive. Look at the step over animations as well. <clears throat> nice, getting there just in time. <laughs> nice defense. That's how sticking out his leg right there. That was clutch. Come on, Militao. Let's go. Nice. Got there last second. Didn't commit the penalty. Things you love to see. Nice interception. Let's go, good defense. Nice. Good aggression right there. Look at that pace, y'all boys. Very, very quick. Nice. Good tackle. Nice. Bodies, Muhammad Salah there. Fire. Let's go. Another tower says R9. Bodies, R9. Let's go. 
Great pass. No towers to R9. Nice. Too easy. Look at that tackle, man. Militao with that pace to catch up to R9. Absolutely fire. Attack once again. Gets the Y ball. Two middle towers with Dino. Gets the interception. Let's go. All right, guys, and that concludes the player view for 95 rated team of the season. Edder Militao coming around 2 million coins by the time I drop this video. 1.9 on the PC market. Now, comparing this 95 rated team of the season to the 94 team of the year, you get mainly plus ones on the pace, passing, shooting, and physicality, a plus two on the fending and dribbling, which is pretty decent, I guess. But somebody commentated this on another Discord that I'm in is that team of the season Militao has medium high work rates, while the team of the year has medium, medium work rates. So, if you guys are into those work rates, you guys believe in work rates. That's something to look into, you know. For me, if the card got decent stats, work rates are relevant, but medium, medium to medium high, you know, just something to look into. My experience with this team in the season Militao was amazing and slightly better than I expected. Um, this card is no debate in my opinion. A top five CB in the game. He is that good, guys. So let's get into what I liked about the card, which is pretty much everything you know uh the main thing is the pace man he is super super quick he never gets wide ball he catches up to everything the pace is so clutch when it comes to the dribbling which is another big pro from the car man the 84 agility man this car can dribble out the back with ease the dribbling the pace like i said before the defending the defensive ai absolutely a one one of the best i've seen in fifa 23 um, this team is probably the best CB when it comes to dribbling out the back, you know um, I preached that the team of the year Militao was very good at dribbling out the back And they got the team of the season with a plus two on dribbling He still got it, you know, he still has the, the amazing dribbling. Oh, if you're getting pressed Step overs left stick turning in tight situations Militao is going to be able to dribble out the back in tight situations um now the biggest if right was the physicality aspect because we all know Militao doesn't have that big body like Van Dyke, Lucio, Varane, or Ruben Diaz, specifically Ruben Diaz, Lucio, and Van Dyke. But with that really insane physicality, like pretty much gets maxed out with the anchor chemistry style. That body type that Militao has is completely irrelevant. I'm gonna be honest, it's completely irrelevant. You guys saw we were bodying our nine. We were bodying Mbappe's with ease. It did not matter who we were going against Militao with the insane stats he has on the card was bodying any center back in the game. So for me, like I said before, team this season Militao, top five CB, 1000%. There's nothing wrong with the card, man. Everything, even with the passing, man, there were certain instances with the passing. His passing was A1 too. You know, 91 short pass. He can definitely do it all out the back. This is definitely... 1000% I want to watch what I say here, but this is probably the most complete Center back in the game, right? Um, like when it comes to the able to defend pass out the back dribble out the back Physicality wise good. He has the 90 plus pace He can do everything out the back, you know, um, he is 6-1 do I think he's better than Van Dyke Team of the Year? And Silver Lucio is the main question. Personally, for me, it's going to be very tough doing rankings on the CBs because there's so many good CBs at this stage of the game. But it's all about preference. For me, Militao's top five. Off the top of my head, I would probably be thinking Van Dyke, Lucio, Militao Team of the Season, Maldini, and then five can be either Varane or Ruben Diaz. That's just my preference. Don't kill me in the comment section down below. Uh, but yeah, guys, this card gets a thumbs up for me. And rating-wise, he's going to get a 10 out of 10. Absolutely amazing CB. 10 out of 10. If you guys get him as a red player pick like Yadel did, or you guys pack him on tradable, start him in your team. 
he's gonna be a big big game changer he is so so good he's he's so good man and it kind of explains why he's that expensive so thank you guys so much for supporting all the videos you guys are absolutely amazing that concludes the review for Militao. the next player i will be dropping will probably be i'll try my best to drop a team of the season kareem benzema review man that's the probably the last review i will be dropping for la liga team of the season maybe i'll try to sneak in a griezmann i'll try my best but uh i i really want to review that benzema because i'm hearing a lot of good things from him so Militao guys Go ahead and get them. Thank you guys once again. It's been your boy Dan FIFA, and I'm out. Bye-bye.